Rumblings of the arresting officers would not be attending the apology feast swept through this community, causing pain and frustration yesterday. But the community was hopeful that the rumors weren't true. While high-ranking constables, including Vancouver Police Chief Adam Palmer and a number of board members did arrive in the community, the two officers that detained Johnson and his granddaughter weren't on board. That's hit the community hard. I take it very personally. Johnson hoped the ceremony would provide his family justice after being subjected to trauma at the hands of the officers. In 2019, the VPD responded to a 911 call from the Bank of Montreal claiming a fraud was in progress. The bank manager thought the pair's Indian status cards were fake IDs. On scene, police handcuffed Johnson and his then 12-year-old granddaughter for an hour on a busy downtown street. I keep thinking about if I, uh, if I wasn't the First Nations people, they probably would have took me into an office in the building somewhere and did it there. But no, they dragged us out to the street and cuffed me and my granddaughter. That's one thing I'll never, ever forget. A human rights settlement was agreed to between Johnson and the Vancouver Police Board. They agreed to an apology feast and paid $25,000 towards it and hope assumptions are not made regarding the constable's decision to not be at the ceremony. It also added that it's committed to building a relationship with the Heltic Nation and other First Nations communities in the spirit of truth and reconciliation. But for the elected chief of the Heltic Nation, it's not enough. Well, it sounds really good. But when you um, don't take that responsibility and accountability, accountability to show up, you know, words can be quite empty. She said under HealthSec law, protocols do not allow for people to stand in place of others. That means the ceremony will unfold in a different way. This uplifting ceremony will be uh, centered on Max and his granddaughter, his grandson, his family, and, and our community. The Heltic Nation and Maxwell Johnson are calling the constable's decision to not attend a failure to take responsibility for systemic racism in the Vancouver Police Department. They also worry the decision will overshadow what was meant to be a night of truth and justice. Angela Sterrett, CBC News, Bella Bella, British Columbia.